So bonjour everybody, welcome to my channel, thank you for watching my video, I hope this video will not be too long for what I have to say, it's flames of war, hit the beach, the complete World War II starter set. So flames of war are starting version 4 late war with the big bang with all those uh, new kit they are putting on the market for late war version 4. At the beach, this big box is everything you need to start to play the game if you never played. So obviously that is the intent is to attract new players. And when you attract new players is, is if you want to play with your friends and learn the game, you just have to buy this kit. You can play and find everything you need in it. So you don't have to spend more money. So in the back, we can see like a battleground, so if you are interested in World War II and uh, Battletop, it's kind of a tabletop game. Sounds great, it sounds like lots of action going on, everything is happening, lots of stuff happening, so lots of fun for the game. It tells you this box contains two complete forces, one Americans, one Germans. And the Americans, they have a company HQ of two Sherman 75, three Sherman 76 mm and three Sherman 75mm for two platoon plus a support platoon of parachute rifle platoon. On the German side, they give you a Panzer Grenadier HQ with six figures, a company platoons, two Panzer Grenadier platoons of 58 figures, so the total, so the company platoon is, a, you got two company basically of Panzer company, uh, a combat platoon include minimum two company of Panzer Grenadier or two company of Grenadier but this is box advertised it is Panzer Grenadier HQ with two company of Panzer Grenadier with two anti tank gun 7.5 cm and a tank platoon of three Panzer IV also you get a A5 rule book a quick starter guide a V1 flying bomb terrain feature to put on your table as a, like a target, an objective for the American and the German have to divide, uh, to provide defense to the V1 launch pad. 16 unit card, 20 dice. So in a nutshell, that's what it is. I'm gonna try to go pretty fast on that, not too long, take it too much of your time. So when we open the box, what we got? So I'm going to just put that aside and we'll start with this. We'll start with the book, Flames of War, the World War II miniature guide. This book is generic to all Flames of War version 4 from the beginning of 42 to 45, basically version 4 or even early war. So you got everything to play the game, early, mid-war, late war version 4 with all the gameplay is done, the rules, etc., etc., for the game with different free fall or mission, different mission you can install in that game. So you got everything to start. You got at the end of the book starting step, movement step, etc., etc. So you got everything to play the game with the anti rule book of Flames of War version 4. Or if you're just starting and you just want to have fun and play as easy, you get a quick start. So on the quick start, what they do is the basic rules of the game. The movement of your vehicle or the infantry, the shooting, how, how it works, what you have to read to find it. They show you that some unit cards have different variants, for example, this 34, they show 3476, 34A5, mm so there's different option on your tank, or your company, uh, or platoon you can have, shooting at tanks, how it works, so everything is there to make it happen. Great for that, for a starter. Now you got that kit, and you want to build your forces. So there's a big sheet here, the American M4 Sherman Tank Company, 
the parachute rifle platoon and you can just go through and they tell you each unit to build the entire rifle platoon parachute rifle platoons and on top they have the decency this time flames of war to tell you which soldier goes in each team so you got M1 Garand Rifle Team, the M1919 and M1 Garand Rifle Team, and etc. etc. So you get your entire platoon, how to build them and to put them on the base. You get the M4 Sherman 75 assembly and the 76 assembly. And on the bottom, you have the launch pad for the V1. So you got everything, all the plan to build your infantry and your tank on the German Panzer Grenadier. They do the same. How to put your Panzer IV together, how to put your gun assembly, 7.5 gun, and how to build your Panzer Grenadier. So here's your two company HQ, your two team of six soldiers, and you got each rifle or MG team right there. And the figure key A0 for officers, RO for radio operator, PF Panzerfaust, MG for machine gun and loader, GC gun crew, rifleman, NCO, Panzer Trek. So you got everything to build your forces with the legend of each letters over. I'm going to make a quick look. Is the Sherman 75. So we're going to try to make it easy for you to see. So nicely details, you can see on it. It's really nice. Nice work from a Flames of War to build their force in plastic. So I just love it. It's plastic, it's not lead. And if you don't want a 75 millimeter, because you can have eight tank with a 75 millimeter, so eight Sherman with 75, they give you option to to have the 76 and when you have the 76 they change a bit the upper hull and the turret and the, ca the gun for sure to put the 76 gun so you get the option to have both it's great look good nicely done by tanks of war now we're gonna look have a quick look at the German side here's their gun as you can see, nicely detailed, so you got the armor plate in front and on bottom of the gun uh, base. Here's your gun base, your gun right there, some ammo box, a box with some ammo in it, so you can put beside and the wheel. So it's really easy, you got one, two, three, four, pretty much eight, eight pieces to put your 7.5. You got two of those. Nice detail on it, as you can see on the detail there on the on the gun. So great, look great. When you look at Panzer IV, first of all, here's the lower all part, upper all, the side skirt for you got two model and one you just put the bracket and you don't put any. So you get three options basically to build your Panzer IV. One interesting thing with it too, and it's really nicely detailed, is they have zimmer it on the Panzer IV. You can see it right here in the front, the lower wall with the zimmer it, the front of the turret with the zimmer it on it, so really nicely details. Look really good. When you look at the upper hull, you can see also the zimmer it on it. That's not on the side, obviously, and the track are really nicely detailed. So you got three of those Panzer IV with Zimmerit and size skirt. And the size skirt come in basically three options. Really nicely done. The next step is the V1 rocket launcher launch pad you got your launch pad here and the rocket so not too difficult easy to paint 
so people can have great fun with that. Now, here's the infantry. And the reason I decided to talk about that kit and make a video is because the, infant, the German infantry. So, here's there's two sprues, A and B, and uh, you can see this is sprue B, and the sprue A is there. And you can see also on top or on the bottom, you got the little uh, figure key or the letters that represent each one. So R for rifleman, N for NCSO, NCO, MJ for a machine gun. So you got everything there, but the German and the American are throughout the the same sprue, so you have to be careful when you cut them to make sure that you built your team with all German or all American together. But if you go to Flames of War website and you look at it, they are color coded on their website and you, it's easy for you to build. And like I said, the sprue A, I remove all the German and I was starting to build it. And he said, it's two Panzer Grenadier Company. And when we look at the card, because I haven't shown you the card, the card shows you Panzer Grenadier Company. Halt is three rate of fire, two on moving, two on tank, level, <coughs> and firepower is six, MG34 team. Your Panzer Grenadier Company HQ, and Panzer Grenadier Platoon, another card. Panzer 4, 7.5, that's the German, and the American, you got M4 Sherman HQ. HQ, Tank Company HQ, you got the M4 Sherman, 4 Sherman, a Raffle Platoon, M4 Sherman 76 Minimite card. So you got all the card, and also you got a little card to tell you what kind of support you formation can have on this card. Now, when you build a Panzer Company or a Panzer Grenadier or a Grenadier Platoon or Company, it goes with each platoon is two team. One team of, when you build Grenadier is two team to make a platoon. One team of Raffle and one team with the MJ34 team. When you build Panzer Grenadier Platoon, you got two team, but both team have MJ34 in it. So you got by each platoon two MG34. And this kit, when I prepare one platoon, I find myself there's only three MJ. For the platoon so there's not even enough mj34 to make for a company of grenadji so let's just say that the pentagon energy is not happening and here to just demonstrate my point i got four terrestrial up german unit cards so they are not from previews like ghosts unit or <coughs> the other uh, uh, unit cards version 4 for mid-war. They are actual late war. Here's a Panzer Grenadier Platoon and it is a Grenadier Platoon. The same way is here's a Panzer Grenadier Platoon. The big difference is, as you can see, a Grenadier Platoon should include four team of MG34 and K98 rifle, rifle teams. You can add Panzer Faust, heavy machine gun, 34, optional, a 2.8 centimeter anti tank rifle, and a Panzer Shrek anti tank. While the Panzer Grenadier, you can only have Panzer Faust or Panzer Shrek. So basically, regardless on this kit, it's not enough, they don't contain two company of Grenadiers because you will need the 2.8 cm tank rifle that come with every Grenadier company 
and there's not enough to create Panzer Grenadier because you need MG34 in each team and you have not even half of the team with MG34. So that pretty much concludes my video. So just to make everybody aware, if you are intent to build or purchase that kit, so in resume, this is not, this kit doesn't con contains two Panzer Grenadier company and it doesn't contain two company of Grenadier. Neither of them will complete either a Grenadier company or a Panzer Grenadier company. At best, what you can build it's one Panzer Grenadier company with a lot of soldier left over on the side. When you count that, you pay $20 for a Panzer Grenadier company and the advertised as two, that's at least the equivalent of $40 Canadian. With the thing that come with it, you're close to fill the $69 Canadian that you pay for the kit and the American are kind of free. If you buy it for the American, it's the same thing. You have enough for $69 in value around $69 of American troops and the German are kind of free. So it's really interesting for either way if you want to be German or if you want to be American. The drawback, if you want to be German, now you have only one company of Panzer Grenadier or maybe if you really force the issue, you may have two company of Grenadier. Uh, two company of Grenadier. Nevertheless, anyway, so bottom line is they don't have all the soldiers to build a Grenadier platoon, two Grenadier company, and they don't have enough to build two Panzer Grenadier platoon. So at best with this kit, you're going to build one Panzer Grenadier platoon. So don't be fooled if you think you will complete your German force by getting two Panzer Grenadier Company at a great price. Not happening. And if you're new, then you will feel like Flames of War cheat you by not providing what they advertise on the box and can and I should and we should question ourselves is does Flames of War new kit or every kit that's gonna put out on the market will not be as advertised for the price you pay for it. So that's my say. Thank you for watching and have a good time, a nice summer coming up. Bye bye.